Look at her. Whoa, look at that swim grid, Blaine. Blaine, we need a new swim grid. Where's the dodo? And the dinosaurs, pterodactyls, <laughs> buffalo, all different snakes, pelicans. Did you find the dodo? Or are you still no, looking I'm looking for the dodo. Can you make some sound for us? Well, there's lots of soundy things. Come on, sound henge. Are you ready for adventure? Subscribe now because we're getting ready for the great Siberian sushi run. Last week we had a lovely trip from Orcas Island to San Juan Island. This week, join us as we have a little walk around Roche Harbor. And find some really weird sculptures. We're gonna go down, check out Roche Harbor here. Look at the Roche Harbor Lime Company had three large sailing vessels prior to the age of steam. It's interesting that they transported lime. Yep. <laughs> lime. The lime quarry. I got one of those as the bottom one. Okay. Oop, nope. one. Oh, look oh. at Maggie. Maggie, look, right here. <laughs> Maggie's like, not no thirsty. Wow. Like I said, that's that's an impressive boat. I would love to see how it's built on the inside. Well, let's look at our YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm sure they show it. I like how the scuppers have little doors. Yeah. I wonder if they get blocked. DMI, DMI yachts. And they got a ring. Yep. <laughs> I'll just wave. How big that bow is, people. Way out of the water. A lot of freeboard up front. Wow. It's impressive. Super impressive. Oasis. Oh, I like their lights, Blaine. Yeah, like their carpet. Oh, they're YouTube. I'll have to check that out. An achievable dream. <laughs> A bat symbol on the bulbous bow. Now you may be wondering why we like to cruise the docks and check out other boats. Well, they give us a lot of good ideas for Tangaroa. Mm. Smart cleats are on the bottom, B. That's smart. Look at that bare aluminum like ours. Except they put the whole walls up. Well, there's the cleats, Blaine. That's smart too. Yeah. I debated that. Wow. She's very similar to a Stevens. Same, same design cues. The windows. What is she? Mm -hmm. Big ass windows. Look inside. I think she's. Uh, I think she's wood. I think she's wood too. That's interesting. Yeah, it's uh, easy access to power on the outside. Yeah, pretty cool. Got some nice anchorage outside. Same door as us, or same seat. Yeah. Except they look like they've closed off their lockers. Look at up top. They don't drive up there, but. And after checking out the boats, it was time to check out some history. Rusty steel hoppers inside of the, really? where those steel beams are. Yeah, go, go have a look. Look for hoppers. What are hoppers? Are they just big buckets? Yeah. That's a hopper, right there. Well, that's cool. That was for the lime. Cool. Stepping over stuff. 
bales. Oh, that's cool. What is it? It's a generator. That's a generator? Yep. Can you go up and look? Okay, yeah, so we got the, uh, the breakers and the fuses in there. Okay, Jell, explain everything what they are. Oh, Don't tell me. I'm just guessing. Come on. So these are all the frequency and average of the generators, which is funny because the amps only go up to 15 amps. Even a generator a quarter that size will go up to 50. Not even a quarter of that size. <laughs> okay, what's this? Um, this is a, looks like just a generator head or part of one. These are the fuses and well, the zooming and the breakers here. Cool. Main disconnects. Not sure what that is, just looking. And then these are the actual main motors and stators. Wow. So this is the actual generator. So you can see all the coil windings. And that whole thing rotates around inside of there. Do we need one this size? Uh, negative. <laughs> and then that looks like a multi belted electric motor down there. That would probably still function. Cool. Hey, look what's in here Fairbanks Morse. Yeah. That's the, uh, the cover. You can see the connecting rod and the crankshaft in there. Cool. And that would be the, where the piston goes. The pistons. Like they've got some sort There's a of thermometer a, up there, temperature gauge. Sorry, what is it? It's temperature gauges. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Old school power generation. And that's only a two cylinder. This is the big one. This is a big sucker here. That's the three. Here, I'll let you take the camera up. It's on. Okay. Go up. Oh, and this would be the top of the cylinders up here. And you can see you got uh, temperatures. I'm not sure if maybe these were possibly steam generators or... I don't know. That would be my guess maybe, steam generators, if they've got the temperatures up here. But um, I would assume so. But pretty cool nonetheless. Whoa. There's old charcoal in here. What do you think, Megs? So what is it, Blaine? Give me the synopsis. The first two lime kilns were built by the British under the direction of Lieutenant Richard Roche, our namesake by the Royal Marines as a way of keeping his troops occupied. The troops were billeted at English camp on Garrison Bay during the Pig War from 1858 to 1872. After the British troops departed, Joe Ruff filed a claim for the Roche Harbor property and took possession in the late 1870s. Limestone was quarried and transported to the kilns where it was burned down to industrial lime, which was a major necessity in the production of steel, plaster, cement, and paper. At one time, Roche Harbor was the largest producer of lime west of the Mississippi. Production ceased in 1956 with the sale of Roche Harbor to Reuben Tart and family. So this is a sculpture park in Roche Harbor. All of these sculptures are for sale, which is kind of cool. So you always see the price on them. You are here, but he's walking away. Welcome, experience art in nature. 20 acres, five self-guided trails, 150 plus sculptures, benches along the way. Poetry path, frog pond, kids starfish project, friendship totem. Let's go see. First things first, I really have to go to the washroom. Oh, the joys of getting older. You just have to pee a lot more. Figure out why the bathroom was called Three Ravens and then I looked up. You guys see them? You love interactive stuff. Uh-oh, we're off the sprocket over there. You need to go fix it. 
Oh, take the off this. Oh, we're off the sprocket down there too. Oh wow. Well. We're off the sprocket in multiple places. I don't want to get all greasy. Uh, probably not, no. It still pulls it a little bit though. When it hits certain spots. Oh, that's a shame. This is Caped Man with Surfer Pose. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I think I think I can read it. <laughs> That's kind of cool. But they're shaping the tree. Are they beautiful? Glass columns. This one's discovering our wild. Made of bronze, 47,500. This sculpture designed to be touched is the first of many that may be placed in zoos around the country. I was inspired by Dr. Charles R. Schroeder, one of the first zoo veterinarians and the creator of the San Diego Wild Animal Park. Please explore the over 70,000 bronze animals and see how many you can name. Many are now badly endangered and some, like the dodo, are already extinct. Our wild earth is rapidly vanishing, and it's hoped that art like this can help the next generation keep its curiosity about the wonderful world around us. Oh look, there's like the antelopes and the kudus, the giraffes, the caribou, the all the birds. Oh look, that's a cool elephant. Where's the dodo and the dinosaurs, pterodactyls? <laughs> Buffalo, all different snakes, pelicans. Did you find the dodo? Or you no, looking I'm for looking for the dodo. Here. Come here, Maggie. Looking for the dodo. Isn't this like a dodo bird Different here? hummingbirds. See how what a dodo looks like? No, dodo kind of looks like an ostrich. Okay, that's a cool gorilla, mountain gorilla. Oh, look at the little otter. There's the dodo. There's the dodo right there. Little squids. Yeah, that's a dodo. Right there, we found the dodo. Angel fish. <laughs> it is a cross between a fish and an angel. This one's really pretty. It's like, I don't know, the texture of it. It's called Time and Fate. I really like that one. Mixture of wood and metal. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. A little bit. Behind the moon owl totem. Nature trail. We're going this way. It's got a habanero. I think it's supposed to be a habanero, but it looks like a habanero. Oh. Oh, it's fire, Blaine. <laughs> it's not a habanero. It looks like a habanero. You goober. Habanero. Ready? Bang a gong. Get it on. We are entering Whimsy Woods. Have fun exploring the forest trail through a maze of creative installations. See how many you can spot. What are these? I am the Whimsy Woods welcome bear. I eat a lot of blueberries, therefore my eyes are blue. My walking sticks are a gift from an old island dancer, Bill Ament. Enjoy your dance through the woods. Did what you walked past Cadmus? And that's just number one. Maybe I'll catch number two or three. this one say? Rainbow bridge in the sky that became inverted and strung in the trees. Each piece of driftwood got dipped in the paint like a dairy queen and carefully connected to produce love and happiness. Do you hear AI? What? Oh, do you hear Al Green singing? 
right now. I hear an engine running. The goat in the sunshine sings every day, also laughs. The head in the purple mesh waste paper basket with wooden beads, sort of dreadlockish, awaits each passerby taking inventory of the Nature Trail participants. She left her crystal ball at home and likes to make your own good luck and fortune, but she holds a crystal ball in her heart. She does have love and hearts on her face too. Dance. She's creepy. As before you go any further, please dance here now. You'll feel alive and powered and more adorable. We've danced. It was fun. I totally feel adorable. You feel alive and adorable? Yeah, I feel adorable. You look adorable. He looks adorable. There's a broom. Okay, there's some weird stuff in here. Plane. These are like cords. They're like computer cords. The electric cord weaver bird. It's a lot of eyes. This is eyeballs and chicken wire. Doesn't everybody? <laughs> That's literally what it says. Eyeballs and chicken wire. Doesn't everybody? Question mark. About 60 pairs. Sculptures. Two random knee high sculptures. One with an egg that will lay whatever imaginary thing you want. The other across the path with curly branches encouraging you to extend your reach. Well, this whole park is certainly, well, not whole park, but this area is certainly one way to use junk to bring joy to people. It is definitely a way to reuse junk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Makes me laugh. You and your interactive exhibits. I love my interactive exhibits. What does that say? The Boat Gear Hieroglyphics. Boldly painted red is perfect for history buffs. Have you wandered into ancient Egypt or ancient Greece or the Evinrude factory? I think this is Blaine's and my favorite part of the sculpture park. It's just funny. It's just so much. Like, it is hilarious. So much to see. It's, it's a bit, um, what do you call it? Whimsical? It's whimsical. <laughs> Whimsy Woods. It just makes me laugh. Cascading shells are message makers. You're invited to write a greeting on one with pen provided. Please leave it so everyone can participate. The more the merrier. Good health, good wishes to all. Magic is everywhere. Have hope. It's almost like the gratitude tree. I am an egg. Some trees don't get cold. Nope. We almost out, Blaine? Still coming down. We're trying to get out of Whimsy Woods now. Oh, look at those. Aw, that's perfect for 2023. Bye bye, 2023, bring on 2024. The ties. Passing the really nicely dressed trees. Just exiting Whimsy Woods. We made it. I think we gotta like I think you gotta hit the gong out. And Blaine gong us out. Bye bye Whimsy Woods. There's one big prawn. Can you imagine catching that in the net? Oh, it's an iron on the bottom. Check that out, guys. The jellyfish. What is that? Uh, really? It's a whole circle of poems? Oh, the poetry circle. Poetry is a beautiful way of sharing thought and experience. This is Soundhenge. You gonna make some sound for us? Well, there's lots of soundy things. Come on, Soundhenge. He 
Keep going, sound hand. Should be dancing and playing. I don't think this is worth dancing to. Come on. Don't you guys think they look like balloon animals? It's a mother earth bowl. Okay, we're taking a break and eating a donut. Fashion donuts. It's really funny, I don't usually eat donuts because it was a cop thing. Like, I don't know, everybody, every time I eat donuts, people would make fun of me. Especially if you're in line at Tim Hortons to get donuts and I was in uniform. But this is pretty good. It's like an old fashioned donut with chocolate dip. It's a little bit got that crunch at the bottom too. Okay, everybody, which sheep are you? Blaine? You're not the black sheep of the family. No. Did she just pee on a sheep? Nope, she didn't pee. Oh, good. This is the one I am. The tattered, torn, look like life has really worn them down. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? So like the prayer wheels used in Tibetan Buddhist tradition, the Rosary of Catholicism or the Jewish mezuzah, these sculptures are intended to be tools for the mindfulness of the ideas we want our actions to radiate. These contemporary prayer wheels are vessels into which you may place writings of your hopes, intentions, and prayers. Use the paper provided here, then carefully lift the lid on the prayer wheel of your choice and drop your writing in. Please replace the lid and gently spin the prayer wheel. We would like a happy and healthy 2024. Easy, Blaze? That sounds wonderful to me. Um, I like this one. Okay, everybody, the first time flying the new drone. DJI Avada. Well, that's positive. Yeah. It's turning. It's an air dryer. It's budding? It's spinning. What's spinning? The propeller oh, the things. Propeller thing, yeah. I have to say, Blaine was very excited about his Christmas present. However, we're not flying it over water yet. I think we'll just try it on land for a little bit. Adio, fare thee well, and if forever, still forever fare thee well. Your coming gave us pleasure, your going gives us pain. Fond memories are only treasure until you come again.